The family seems to be using the river as a corridor. But their food is buried in the tundra. Hedicerum roots are an important source of protein for Arctic grizzlies. The bear's lack of interest in the salmon is puzzling. But these chum salmon don't have nearly the fat and calories as those the bears eat along the coast. Once they leave the salt water to head upstream, they stop eating. All their energy goes into reaching the spawning ground where they were born. For these fish, that's roughly 400 river miles. After weeks of swimming upstream, they've used a tremendous amount of their reserves to get here. And the once vibrant color has faded from their skin. Males will gather and fight for position as females arrive. Once this courting process starts, it can take hours or even days to complete. The family has returned, but this time they've staked out a spot on the river. Mom is completely focused on fishing. She's landed a huge chum salmon. The whole family retreats into the willows to share the fish. Here in the Arctic, a catch like this is quite a bounty. Mum quickly returns to the river's edge. The cubs will pick this fish clean while mum looks for more. Look at those cubs. All lined up, waiting for mum to catch dinner. She's quickly proving to be a skilled fisher. And by the looks of these cubs, she's been an excellent provider for the first two and a half years of their lives. It's hard, to, it's hard to even imagine them as cubs. They're almost as big as she is at this stage. The cubs have been watching her closely, and now, instead of feasting off what she's caught, they seem to be interested in learning to fish themselves. These new experiences show off how different each of these cubs are. They're all individuals. This cub has plenty of confidence. He's borderline troublesome. Mm, close enough. That's close enough. That's close, close enough. enough. It's OK. It's all right. It's OK. It's all right. He ventures much further than the other two and seems to be quite bold. This boldness concerns his mum quite a bit. <laughs> but it's also what nice. yields him his first catch. Very nice. That's great, they're learning, they caught it. Yeah. When he catches something, it's his alone. He is already showing his independence. The other two cubs are more plush and cub-like than their brother. One is playful and anxious as he bounds into the water after fish. The other cub is much more cautious, sticking close to mum.
For the first time in the days we've been watching her, she's able to rest comfortably on the shore while her cubs patrol the shallow river. It's doubtful they know this is their last summer under her care and guidance. At last, her smallest cub is beginning to focus on the salmon. Mom follows close behind, stirring up the fish. She gives up the chase, letting her cub finish the catch. Oh, look at that! It's not uncommon to see a mother get very protective and aggressive while fishing. To me, she seems as intent on preparing these cubs for life on their own as she does with finding food. Don't forget we're here. After several days of being watched, her curiosity for us has finally peaked. Hey, Bear, you are a good mama. Oh, you are so sweet. Ah, oh, look at her backing up like that. And we're gonna get out of your way. And that's our cue. We'll take a cue from this. A good lesson for us to keep in mind is to always leave on a good note. While it may be some time before they come across people again, when they do, we want their memory of us to be a positive one. Mm.